Welcome to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you the selection tool in QGIS. So let's get started. So we're going to take a look at the different functions of uh, different functions of the selection tool in QGIS. So let's explore it. So now let me select the layer land use. Have selected the layer land use. So now let's go to the tool called select features by area or a single click. So now I have selected the select tool. So you can able to visualize here. I'm going to select this particular feature. So it's get highlighted here. So likewise, you can able to select the different features in your polygon just by drawing panning over those features. It gets selected here and highlighted in a low color. So in case if you want to select uh, more than one feature uh, in this layer, so uh, you can do it either by panning the tool over the entire the features or just by using holding your uh, holding your control key and uh, click the selected features click the features you want to select it gets highlighted so likewise you can able to select the different features so suppose if you want to select only one feature you can uh, just leave the hold on your uh, control key and just select those particular features so you can able to visualize here in the select feature by select feature by area there is a drop down menu where there is several options available there is select features select features by a polygon select feature by freehand and select feature by a radius so currently we are in the select feature mode so let's uh, use this particular mode called select features by polygon so now let me let me deselect this now let me select the features by polygon so now you can able to visualize we can select the feature by the polygon mode so all you have to do is draw a polygon over the features you uh, like to be selected and just right click the features are gets selected and highlighted in in a low color so select by polygon is actually we are drawing a polygon over the features to get select to get the features selected so now let us take the look at uh, the select features by freehand so let me clear the selection to clear the selection you have to click this option called uh, deselect feature from all layers so i have deselected the all features so now let me select this particular mode called select feature by freehand so now we have selected the features by freehand so it takes only a one point to start the to start and uh, two point that is it takes two points to select the feature it's kind of a drawing over the features and just right click to select the features so now it gets selected and highlighted and similarly let us visualize the last one that is select feature by radius so now let me deselect the features so now let us select the select feature by radius so now let me uh, do this so in select by radius it's going to draw the selection radius up to the features you are interested to be selected and after that just uh, click this to get selected so the features are get selected and highlighted here just two clicks to uh, get a feature selected using the select by radius so now let me deselect this so now let me uh, let get back to the select feature this particular mode called select feature so now i'm going to select this particular feature let me zoom out so now you can able to visualize it so i'm going to select this particular feature so now you can visualize we have selected only the one feature from the entire land use features so now i'm going to show you a new uh, selection uh, selection mode that is uh, go to this particular tool called uh, select feature by value and drop down menu there is an option called invert feature selection so in this mode what is going to do is is going to leave this particular uh, feature the selected feature and going to select all the diff all the features except this particular feature so in uh, invert uh, feature selection so now let me show you that let me click this so you can visualize it except this particular feature it's it selected all of the features the entire features except this particular feature we have selected it before using the uh, the invert feature selection 
So now let me deselect this. So I will show you another tool mode that is uh, select mode. So click this drop down menu. So you can uh, view this particular mode called select all features. So suppose you want to select all features, you can use this particular mode called select all features. So it's going to select all the features in your layer, the entire feature in your layer. So now let us uh, deselect this. So now let me open the attribute table of our land use. So you can visualize there is uh, four different fields in it. Object ID, OSM ID, name and type. So uh, I'm going to explore you the next selection tool here. So go to this particular tool called uh, select, uh, select all feature that is select. So here you can able to visualize we're going to select, select, a uh, select feature by expre expression. That is, uh, we have two different selection mode. We have select feature by expression and select feature by value. So now let us select this feature called selection mode called select features by value. So I've selected that particular mode. So here in the attribute table we have previously saw there is around four fields in our attribute table of land use. So it is mentioned here as object ID, OSM ID, name and type. So here you can able to select the feature by a value. So for example, let me uh, so here you can able to visualize an option called exclude field click this option so here you can uh, apply different conditions you can apply different condition based on the value to select those particular feature for example if you want to select the features only where the object id is less than less than 20000 in that case you're going to select this particular option and enter the value for example let me enter the value of it let me select as 20000 so to perform this action, you only have to do is click this option called select features. Now let me zoom out. So now we can visualize it. I'm going to click this called select features. So it has selected all features where the object ID is less than 20,000. Similarly, you can apply the, the, these conditions to the different fields and apply and select those particular feature according to your choice. So there is a different conditions available here. For example, there is equal to, not equal to, greater than, less than greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, between, not between, missing and not missing. So you can apply this variety of different condition. Based on that, you can select those features only. So this particular tool will be very useful. So now let me close this tool. And let me uh, remove my selections. Now I have deselected it. So the next selection mode I'm going to show you is the select feature by expression. So now uh, you can visualize the window has been popped up saying select by expression. So in select by features, you can able to visualize in the right hand side corner, right hand side, there is a, a field called fields and values. There is an option called fields and values. Click this option. So here it has displayed the four different fields that is object ID, OSM ID, name and type. So now let me show you my attribute table of this layer. So in the attribute table you can visualize we have four fields called object ID. OSM ID name and type. So similarly, we have that object that field in, in this particular option called fields and value in select by expression that is object ID, OSM ID name and type. So now let me close this uh, attribute table. So here I'm going to select this particular field called type. So uh, let me click this option called all Unix. So now we can able to visualize all the different land types, land cover types has been shown in this option with all unique values. So you can able to visualize here in select by expression. So you have to select the feature by an expression for that. So here you can able to visualize in the type that is in land cover type. We have a variety of different land cover types have been observed. So now let me select this particular land cover type called military. So before that, let me select this option in the field uh, in our field. Let us select this field called type. So to select this particular feature called military, all you have to do is I have to click this option called equal. So I've entered the equal symbol here. So now let me select this uh, particular called military. Before that, let me deselect this. Deselect the features I've selected. Okay. So now uh, let me select this uh, land cover called military. Double click. So now we can able to visualize in the expression in our side. There is a type equals to military. This is an expression to select only the feature that land cover type called military so to uh, select those features all you have to do is click this option called select features 
So now we can able to visualize the different the land cover type of military has been highlighted here. So which is indicated in a low color. It is highlighted in a low color. And similarly, if you want to select the different, the, let me show you the different land cover type. So now we're going to select this particular tool called landfill. So I have select double click. So not that. Let me select land cover. So for that to select the land cover, you have to click this option called landfill. So now you can able to visualize here. So here you can able to visualize. So here you can able to visualize here. We have selected the landfill. So type the field called type equals to the land cover called landfill. So to select this particular feature, we're going to select this option called select feature. We have made an expression called type equals to landfill. So now let me select those particular feature. So here you can able to visualize this particular land cover uh, called the landfill has been selected and highlighted here in yellow color. Now similarly, let me show you another uh, other things. For example, let me remove this uh, expression. So now we're going to type this user. We're going to use this field called object ID. So now, so now we have selected a field called object ID. So what we're going to type is we're going to type object ID less than twenty thousand. So now let us type that particular expression here. Have uh, click this uh, field called object ID. Now let me type less than twenty thousand. So now we can able to visualize selected the object ID that is this field and less than twenty thousand. Have mentioned that. So to select the feature that is lesser than 20,000, you have to click this option called select features. I have made an expression called object ID lesser than 20,000. Let me select those features. So here you can able to visualize the object ID lesser than 20,000. All the layers get selected and highlighted in a look color. So this is how we can able to select the different features using the select tools. So now let me close this and uh, let me uh, deselect all the features. So in this video I have shown you the different selection modes in QGIS. So thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.